Our first caller is Nick from New York. Nick, what's happening, man? How can we help you? Hey, guys. How are you? Um, I started my fitness journey in 2017 around like 275 pounds. I'm 190 now, and I got into OCR training and Spartan races a lot. Um, since COVID started, I've been doing the same regiment with a very heavy hit focus, uh, doing like a lot of burpees and rows and a lot of intense cardio with two days where I would do heavy lifting with uh, leg day and a back and chest day. And I also did intermittent fasting with a one hour eating window along with keto. And my, I noticed that my weight would fluctuate a lot when I deviated from that. Um, and I had listened to uh, your podcast with the seven day maps plan, and I'm going to be trying that out. My question is, am I shooting myself in the foot by working so heavy alongside intermittent fasting and keto while also training for Spartans? I feel like maybe I'm going in the wrong direction with this yeah, regiment, yes. especially since I want to perform well at the Spartans, but also get the aesthetic that I want. Yeah. So, um, yes, your intuition is correct. You are, uh, and I, when I say shooting yourself in the foot, I don't mean you're screwed. I mean, you've just, you, you know, you've taken everything but the kitchen sink or maybe even the kitchen sink and thrown it at yourself. And so now you're in a position where sustainability is going to become an issue. And this, Nick, is the main reason why people uh, eventually fall off is they, they do so many things to accomplish a particular goal and it's just unsustainable either because it's too much to dedicate yourself to or because the person's body, mind, uh, you know, or mind burns out. So here's what I suggest you do. Now, I know you like the OCR race. You can still do that, train specifically for the OCR race if, if that's what you want to do and do nothing else. Or if you want to start going down the path of sustainability, I'm going to recommend you start to eliminate the high-intensity hit type training, focus on three full-body workouts a day like a MAPS anabolic type of routine, slowly increase your calories, and allow your metabolism to start to recover because that's a much more sustainable approach. Will you gain some weight doing it? Maybe a little bit, but uh, here, my prediction is if you don't move in this direction, um, you're you, going to, you're going to have a huge rebound sometime in the future. You have to, you have to go this way. Nick, would you have any idea uh, where your calories are? I, uh, when I'm doing, when I was doing the uh, hit regimen, I was at like 1900 calories. Yeah. Um, and since I've been listening to you guys, I've heard time and again, you know, bump up the calories, bump up the calories. So I've been slowly bumping them up. Um, I went, I just did like 1900 to 2400. Okay. And okay. then what did, did you notice anything? How do you feel? What's, what's going on since then? <laughs> Um, I noticed that I did gain a little weight, but it's mostly muscle. Like I gained four pounds in the past three weeks, but yeah. like three of those pounds are muscle. That's excellent. That you're okay. So you know, the, the a couple of things that are really good news. One, uh, for you to go as far as you've gone already, uh, it it just highlights your discipline and consistency, which is. Oh, as a trainer, you're you're always excited when you have somebody who can stick to something. And you've been really kicking ass for a long time. The hard the hardest part is going to be the mental challenge here uh, is to get you to kind of calm down with all the crazy movement. And honestly, I know Sal said that you could uh, do the OCR program and keep doing the Spartan race training stuff like that. Personally, if you were my client, I would I would want you not to. So if you fought me on it, then, you know, at the end of the day, like uh, you're hiring me. And so I've got to kind of bend a Make little the bit. the best of it. Yeah. But if I had full control of your plan, um, it would be, let's actually just, and I would either do anabolic or even like power lift. Like I would want your mindset around, let's build muscle. Now you've done so mm -hmm. well for so long of cutting, cutting and, and leaning out and losing weight, losing weight. Let's shift our focus for a couple months on building some muscle and getting strong as hell in the gym. And that, and I wouldn't worry about the scale. 
I wouldn't get caught up on whether you go up or down a few pounds. Honestly, as long as you, I actually don't want you to go down, I'd want you to actually maintain your weight, maybe even possibly go up a few pounds like you have currently. And the main goal would be how high can we get these calories without you putting on any body fat or ex mm -hmm. excess body fat, I should say, and how strong can we get in the gym? And that is our main goal. Walking is fine. So if you've already trained yourself to be running every day and doing lots of stuff to ask a client like that to go from seven days a week of crazy movement down to three days of strength training. That's it. But uh, what I would say is, listen, uh, on your off foundational days, I guess anabolic's a three-day program, trigger sessions and walking. That's it. Yeah. And yeah. <clears throat> I think, um, yeah, I definitely would echo what, what Adam's kind of suggesting with that. But I mean, you, you did all the work to get to where you are now in, in, in losing the weight and, uh, you know, in your busy body and you want to keep active and, and really like the, the psychological challenge for you right now is to find what out there is sustainable for your lifestyle. So what activities, what things can you promote that you can continue from here on out, uh, you know, with a healthier body. And that's, that's always a challenge when, uh, cause we don't want to perpetually go through this gain weight, lose weight, you know, kind of trap that, that a lot of times we get into with this kind of intensity that it took to get to there. So, uh, you know, to, to be able to find if OCR is something that's really enjoyable and it's like a continual thing you want to kind of keep challenging yourself with, great. But uh, it has to be something like that. It has to be something that you really enjoy, uh, you know, that will be able to kind of maintain uh, all this momentum that uh, you have right now. Yeah, Nick, I'm going to make some guesses, okay? You tell me if I'm, if I'm wrong or right, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that the reason why you started OCR and the reason why you went keto and the reason why you started intermittent fasting was all to help you lose weight. Am I correct? Correct. Okay. So now here's some just honest, tough love, but I'm going to, at the end, I'm going to help you uh, convert this a little bit. Okay. Though that's probably the worst reason to do any of those three things. Okay. Uh, OCR motivating yourself by doing events is a almost guaranteed way to, uh, not have sustainable weight loss. At some point you're chasing this competition and at some point it's going to stop working for you either because your body rejects it or because you burn out mentally. The same thing is true with keto and intermittent fasting. Now to get to where you started, which was 275, you probably had some bad relationship with food stuff going on, which most of us do, right? So that's what led to the 275. And what you did is you traded a bad relationship with food that led to 275 to another bad relationship with food that led to 180 pounds, 190 pounds. So what I want you to really focus on is don't be afraid of the you know, 10, 15 pound weight gain that may happen. I want you to forget about that and think about sustainability. That's the thing that is going to threaten your long-term success. It's not the, oh, no, I gained 10 pounds because I stopped doing all these hit workouts and I'm you know, doing strength training. Don't worry about that. Think sustainability. You have, you know, How old are you, Nick, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 36 years old. Yeah, dude. You, do you want to do you want to keep this body fat off? for the rest of your life, right? Do you want to have- Oh, yeah, of course. Right, and you want to have it, and you, maybe you have a family now, if you don't, maybe have one in the future, or, you know, friends and other things in life that are very important, and it's you want to create, your fitness needs to not just support your life, but improve your quality of life. Now, of course, part of that is your improved health, but the other part of it is, you know, it's very hard to do when you're stressed- you're stressed out about diet and I can only eat in one hour window and I can't have any carbs and I got to do this OCR rate, you know, four years, five years, 10 years, that becomes a stressful situation. So remember that. And I want you to do the right thing, which means you're going to have to go against some of your fears. And, and most of your fears are probably centered around going back to where you were before. Um, and, yeah. you know, and, and that fear is actually going to get you to where you were before. So Check yourself there. Take our advice. And I would say for the next three months, do MAPS Anabolic. Do the walking on the off days. Eliminate the other stuff. Don't do the OCR race unless it's super important to you, in which case I'd say, fine, do this one last one. And don't weigh yourself for the next three months. Don't even weigh yourself. Just look at strength. Look at your health. How do I feel? Am I enjoying things? Do I feel just whatever? And then as far as diet's concerned, I say this. I wouldn't go... I wouldn't take the pendulum and swing it all the way in the other direction because that's a recipe for disaster. I would say 
include a little bit of carbs post-workout. As far as intermittent fasting is concerned, I would have a little bit of food. Uh, normally when you fast, you're not going in the opposite direction, but slowly move yourself to a more normal, balanced way of living so that you move towards sustainability. I'm going to be even more specific with this and tell you what what a massive win for us would look like is if I got you to cut out a lot of the stuff that you're doing, follow MAPS Anabolic to a T, which means you're doing the three foundational days. It means you're doing the trigger sessions. You're allowed to walk if you want to go out and walk. I'm totally good with that. You're, you consistently start with about 2,400 calories. You've already proven that you can kind of eat there and your body's responded well. It's added three pounds of muscle and only one of fat. That's an incredible ratio. Mm. So get to consistently eating 2,400 calories while following that program. And then our next goal for the next two months or so is, can I get from 2,400 to about 2,800 and get stronger in the gym? If you came back to me, and let's say we didn't weigh at all, right? I, I tell you, just like Sal said, throw the fucking scale away. I don't care about that. Just talk to me about you getting stronger. Talk to me about you being able to eat and your energy levels and then in two months we hop on the scale and i as long as you're not up probably over 15 pounds you're up anywhere between 7 to 12 pound range and you're eating 2800 calories you and i are high-fiving and i'm telling you how much you're kicking ass because that would be the most successful two to three months from now is to be able to do that for you to be able to say you're eating 2,800 calories, doing way less cardio, strength training, and stronger. You you have completely started to change the trajectory of your your fitness journey for sure, and you're getting stronger and building more muscle, and for sure we'll have a faster metabolism. Yeah. Nick, do you have MAPS Anabolic? I actually do. I bought the uh, anabolic and aesthetic uh, package like a couple days ago. All right. Well, I, I, I want to give you something for free. So I'm going to I'm going to let you in in the private forum because I'd like you. I would love if you could give us, uh, you know, updates every other week or so and post it in yes. the private forum and then just tag us. OK. Absolutely. All right, my friend. Thanks for calling. Thank you guys so much. No problem. Nick. Look forward to seeing you in the forum, man. That's that's a what a challenge, right? Because you get you know you're you're at a particular weight, you know in his case two two seventy five, mm -hmm. and then he probably had a moment where he's like, "That's it, I'm I gotta I gotta get rid of this, I gotta change my life," mm -hmm. and so you do what you do when you feel that way, which is everything, everything at once. Yes, yeah. and and it definitely got him to lose weight, but that mental state that he's riding right now doesn't last forever. So I'm so glad he called in because now we can move him in the right direction. Well, I'm so yeah. glad that we answer a question like this too because it's something that we we talk about on the show all the time. Like this, yep. he's actually so normal. You know, sub in whatever weight, sex, age, that changes, of course. But as far as like somebody who has put on a lot of weight over the last years or decades and is trying to lose, lose weight... This is the approach. It's exactly what happens. And I guarantee he didn't start here with all that stuff. It's probably started with right away cutting calories like yeah. crazy, doing cardio, yep. yeah. and then saw the first initial 10, 20 pounds go down. And then, okay, let's what add- What else can I do? Yeah, Keep let's throttling. add OCR, and let's add HIT, and let's do intermittent- And I'm on fire. Right. And, yeah. and now what's cool about when I get a client like this is, and what I was telling him is that he's got the discipline. Right, mm -hmm. so if you've done that for the last year or so, whatever, how long did you say he took him to get to this point? Yeah, it was uh, 2017. I think he started, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to look up there. It was mostly in the last yeah year. Yeah, or so, so yeah. I mean, this guy's been consistently getting after it. So if I can just get him to shift his focus, because mm -hmm. that's the the first hardest thing is to get a client to be consistent with whatever yeah. it is that we're trying to do. So he's already proven that he can be consistent. That'll just be the mental hurdle. That's you know, it. Not getting caught up if the scale goes up five to fifteen pounds and just get stronger in the gym.